Day after day, month after month, Seattle police try to get Miles Hudson to knock it off. Like, remember when we talked last time? Uh, Do you remember? I, last time you I got pulled over, over in Seattle. Put over a lot. But the Belltown Hellcat continues its reckless run. The 20-year-old wannabe speed racer is accused of tearing up downtown Seattle roads at more than 100 miles per hour. One, two. And blasting his engine at 2 o'clock in the morning, all in his souped-up Dodge Charger Hellcat, valued at close to $100,000, considering the base cost and all the mods installed. Right, I reached out to several of the car mod companies Hudson has linked on his Instagram. Their thoughts on the Hellcat driver? are mixed. One local business told me Hudson is one of their favorite customers. Another company who makes software for race cars tells me they had no idea they were being connected to Hudson's alleged shenanigans. The company said they're going to try to distance themselves from the Belltown Hellcat fast. But the big question is after months of complaints, tickets, and reports, why is this still a problem? Technically, Hudson is no longer behind the wheel. The city got him with two reckless driving charges. Yet his videos keep popping up. That's because Hudson now rides shotgun while his other cohorts take the wheel. In mid-May, Hudson's mom emailed the city saying they're trying to get the car up to compliance. And Hudson no longer has the car in his possession. But just last week, a new video went up on Hudson's Instagram showing someone wearing a mask whipping the car around intersections. On Friday, the city ran out of patience. In this letter Fox 13 News obtained, it says Seattle City Attorney Ann Davison requests a default judgment against Hudson. Court docs say he would be on the hook for upward of $83,000 for all of the fines. He said he's not quitting anytime soon. His social media following is paid for his car. Hudson is expected in court later this month. He said that? Yeah, he said, I got 700,000 followers, man. I'm making a career out of this. Can, uh, Reporting in Seattle, AJ Janabel, Fox 13 News.